Chair White Watch and Adam Center for Defending Rights and Freedoms released separate messages to condemn the recent terrorist bombings in the Syrian town of Aleppo. These two human rights organizations expressed their condemnation for the forced immigration of the Shia Muslims in the towns of Faw and Kafaria and other that the terrorist groups and the Human Rights Foundation should stand trial for the brutal killing of more than 100 Shia civilians. It is not worthy that the bus convey of Shia civilians from the towns of Fu'a and Kafaria were targeted by a car bomb in Aleppo, leading to the death of more than 100 people and the injury of 200 others. In a heart full of grief and pain, Shia Rice Watch organization has received the news of terrorist attack on innocent civilians and migrants of the two Syrian towns of Al Fu'a and Kafaria who are fleeing from the terrorist besiegement. Shia Rice Watch strongly condemns this brutal attack that reveals the extent of barbarism of these terrorist groups. News arrived from inside of Syria revealed that hundreds of innocent civilians have fallen victim to terrorist group attack that targeted their buses while they were migrating to a safe shelter. This attack left dozens killed. Among those killed were women, children, and the elderly. This attack occurred while an agreement has been signed between the conflicting sides to allow safe exit to the town residents. Shia Rice Watch requests the UN Security Council to condemn this terrorist attack and conduct an investigation into the matter and prevent such future actions by the terrorist groups. Also, few members in UN Security Council must stop portraying the terrorist groups as legitimate forces and justify their actions. SRW still believes that some Western countries turn a blind eye to the terrorist groups' absurd violations, and this makes them partners in these terrorist heinous crimes. At the same time, the support of some Arab Gulf states to terrorist groups and extremism is considered a clear violation of international laws and security. SRW organization sends its condolences to the families who lost their loved ones and prays to Lord to grant a speedy recovery to those who are injured. On the same occasion, the Adams Center for Defending Freedom and Rights has also condemned the terrorist attack that targeted civilians in northern part of Syria, Aleppo, where in this attack tens of innocent civilians were killed and injured. Most of those who were killed consisted of children, women, and elders. In this message, Adams Center for Defending Freedom and Rights stated, this criminal attack shows the lowliness of terrorist groups by targeting buses carrying innocent children, women, and unarmed civilians. Their crime was holding beliefs other than terrorist groups. The message continued that barbarism and the killing of innocent civilians has been used as a tool for reaching political success and agendas. This message also explained that no international law allows the displacement of citizens and their killing. Instead, they should be safe without no harms reaching them. Also, the message stated that the UN Security Council has failed to defend people's blood. It has been turned into a tool that has been used by the hegemonic powers and those who are funding this council. This institution is a prisoner of the hegemonic powers and their desires and aims. The Adam Center requested an independent thought of investigation to be done into this attack and that the perpetrators of this attack should meet justice. The Adam Center believes that all conflicting sides are responsible for what is happening in this country, and it has requested all sides to stop wasting more lives. It is worth mentioning that in this attack, more than 100 people have been killed and 200 have been injured. <laughs> 